hello guys in this video i will implement one more class which is complex class to perform complex arithmetic now you know the complex numbers like complex number is having some real part and it is having some imaginary part and it is written in the a plus bi format so for that suppose i write one class which is complex now to this complex class what will be the data members real part will be there and imaginary part will be there so suppose i declare real and imaginary as data members in the public part i will write some functions like there will be default constructor there will be parameterized constructor now to the parameterized constructor i am passing two integer arguments and i am writing one more function which is display function so i will declare the objects of class complex in main function so suppose if i declare complex c1 as object of class complex then this will call the default constructor and i want to initialize default values for real and imaginary as 0 so default number will be 0 plus 0 i so that i will do in the default constructor so how to write the definition of constructor no return type after that class name is complex scope resolution operator and function name is also complex since it is a default constructor and inside that I will say real equals to 0 and imaginary equals to 0. Then parameterized constructor I will write. Parameterized constructor will get call if I declare the object something like this. I am passing the values from the parenthesis 1224. Then in that case the number should be 12 plus 24i. So 12 will get assigned to real part and 24 will get assigned to imaginary part. So how to write the definition, no return type, class name is complex, function name is also complex. It is taking two integer arguments. So I will say real equals to r and imaginary equals to i. To display the number, let me write the display function. So void is return type, name of the class is complex scope resolution name of the function is display so i will display the number as a plus bi format so first i will display real after that plus sign after that imaginary after that i and then end l so here it will be i and plus sign so let me display c1 and c2 both the objects so c1 dot display and c2 dot display name of the file is complex dot cpp so let me compile and run that g plus plus complex dot cpp hyphen o complex is the executable dot slash complex so it is printing both the numbers 0 plus 0 i and 12 plus 24 i so this code is correct it is printing the complex number now in this code i did not consider one thing which is regarding negative imaginary pa imaginary part suppose i have number which is 12 minus 24 i then now if i compile and run it is printing first number correct 0 plus 0 i and second number is getting printed as 12 plus minus 24 i so this is not proper format so for that negative imaginary part i need to consider i need to change some code so here i will say if i take one char ch now that ch is nothing but sign which i want to display so that ch will be plus if Im imaginary part is positive and it will be minus if imaginary part is negative so i will write code for that here if imaginary is greater than equals to zero then ch equals to plus else ch equals to minus and instead of plus sign i will write ch here now let me check now it is displaying 12 minus minus 24 i so 1 minus is extra which is getting printed 
so for that again abs function i will use here which will print absolute value abs function gives the absolute value so i am not supposed to print negative imaginary part i will print absolute value of imaginary part abs function is under math library so i will include c math here it is getting compiled now it is printing correct 12 minus 24 i so this is the class complex which i have implemented for complex arithmetic now let me do one more thing suppose i have two objects one is 10 20 and other object is say some 12 24 now suppose i want to add these two complex numbers then i declare one third object c3 and i write c3 equals to c1 plus c2 so that addition of c1 and c2 will get stored inside the c3 so now what will happen if i'll compile this code so let me compile it is throwing an error over here so it is not able to add the complex numbers what i want is uh, from this the result should be 22 plus 44i so addition of two complex numbers that means addition of their corresponding real parts and addition of their corresponding imaginary parts i want to store that into c3 and i want to print that but this statement itself is throwing error regarding no match for operator plus so this is happening because we know that addition of complex number is addition of their corresponding real parts and corresponding imaginary part but compiler don't know what is the addition of complex number because it is a user defined class this class is written by us and not by the compilers so tomorrow if i have two employees of some class employee and if i add them then what will be the addition of two employees so that we need to define for our class so here i need to define what is the addition of two complex numbers and that thing is done using operator overloading i will overload this plus operator for class complex so that thing will come under the topic of operator overloading which we will see from the next video onwards so as of now i have implemented this class complex